Love your new car? You're not alone. We all work really hard for our cars, working nine to five most days, and in some cases, even longer. And some of us, it's a dream to own a luxury car. And the moment you pick up your new car, it can be extremely exhilarating, even if you're not a car person. But what you don't want is someone who's jealous of that. Someone who wants to take something from your hard on work. Someone who's out there to steal. And of course, with new cars, they're extremely desirable. I mean, just look at some of these interiors. They literally look something like out of a sci-fi movie in a spaceship or something. I know what I want for Christmas. So to help you guys out, I'm put together a list today of 10 ways you can keep your car as secure as possible. So then guys, first on the list is switching off your key. So in most manufacturers now, they feature some kind of form of keyless start or, or keyless entry and that sort of thing. In Mercedes-Benz, for example, uh, with these new style keys, if you leave the key unattended on uh, like a countertop at home or something like that and don't touch it, there's actually a motion sensor built inside of it where the key turns off after a short while. It's around about five minutes or so, which then means uh, hackers and people like that can't access the key signals and then gain access to the car and then steal the car. However, for ultimate protection, if you press the lock button twice, not only will that lock the car, that will also turn off the key immediately. And of course, uh, just before we move on to the next one, make sure that you do this for the spare key as well. So it's okay doing it for the main key. If you have spare keys for your car, make sure you do this as well because just in case it's like in a safe or something like that in your house or a secure location, you wanna make sure that key's off because not only will it save your battery life, it'll also stop any signals being emitted from the key just in case it's moved or anything like that. Now thinking in the minds of people who like to steal, what drives them is an opportunity. So if you're walking past the car and you see this, you might not think anything of it, but then compare it with this one, the first one has loads of valuables on show. So basically what I suggest in this one is to hide your valuables. Now of course, make use of things like the glove box, door pockets, if you have privacy glass, uh, pop things and valuable items in the rear of the car. And then of course you've got your boot as well, and in some cases an underfloor area in your boot as well. So basically if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So next up guys is consider where you park. Again, it's all about removing that potential opportunity for a theft to occur. So a car parked in the dark versus a car parked under some bright street lamps, for example, it's less likely to be targeted if it can be seen visibly by others. So if you know of any dodgy areas that you shouldn't park in or don't want to park a, a luxury car in, for example, best to park somewhere where it can be seen by others or maybe under some lights so that others can actually see it if anything did happen. So then guys, just covering one more basic thing before we move on to some more advanced things. This one is really, really simple, but it's actually just to make sure your car is locked. I've seen so many times in car parks where the door pins on the car are still up, uh, meaning of course it's unlocked. Now on Mercedes-Benz cars for peace of mind, when you press the lock button, you'll get three flashes from the indicators to say it has successfully locked. And I say successfully because if you've left the door open slightly, you won't get those flashes from the indicators. So for added peace of mind, you could also enable a thing called acoustic lock, meaning you'll get a toot from the horn that sounds like this, and that will let you know that it has successfully locked. So then guys, for my next tip, and moving on to some more advanced tips and tricks for securing your car, did you know you can actually limit the amount of doors that unlock at any given time? So when you unlock the car, normally all doors unlock like so. But if you hold the unlock unlock button at the same time for about six to seven seconds for this specific key, you can have it only unlock the driver's door. So if I lock it back up and now unlock it, it will only do this door. So all the other doors remain locked. Uh, just give it another simple unlock to unlock the remainder of the car. Now you may have heard of these things before called a Faraday pouch and what they are is basically a pouch with many layers but most importantly one of those layers is metal and they basically block all signals from your key meaning that even if someone tried to hack your key before it had turned off with like the motion sensor I mentioned a few tips ago you can be sure that the moment that it's in this pouch they won't be able to. 
So to test this out on Mercedes keys, I bought one off of Amazon that had about a four or five star rating and funnily enough had nice red stitching just like some of the AMG models and it genuinely works. You pop the key straight in and uh, yeah, it won't work. No matter what you try, no matter how close you get it to the door, it won't unlock when the key's in this pouch. And sure enough, taking the key out of the pouch, it works just like before. Now next up on the list is collision notification and damage notification on the Mercedes Mi app. Now sadly this isn't available on all models of Mercedes-Benz, it's a very new thing that's come out recently on selected models. So uh, if you want to check to see if you have it, you can go onto the app and have a look on the manage services section, see if it's listed in there, or just get in touch with your local Mercedes-Benz and they can advise if your car is capable of doing that. But if you do have it and say something did happen, uh, you'll get a little notification on the app saying collision notification detected. And if you go into it, you can see the time and date that it happened. Now, sadly, on technology uh, as of today, it doesn't take any photos or anything like that, uh, probably due to data protection or something like that, but it could be something that could happen in the future. But this does help because it gives you the time and date, a very valuable piece of information of when that happened. So I guess from that information, you could then use some kind of maybe local CCTV of the area or something like that to get in touch with the police. At least, most importantly, you have that kind of time and date that happened rather than no information at all. Now, as we move on to an all electric future with electric cars and plug-in hybrids, uh, if you own one of these, this tip and trick is for you. So make sure you don't leave your cables out on your property so yes if you use a type 2 connector like this one it does actually lock both ends when it's charging so when you plug it into a wall box and then plug the other end into the car it locks both ends which is great however when it's not charging if you don't have a wall box that kind of locks that cable in place it will just sit there and the thing is while you're away because it's not charging you'll be using the car someone will come along and then steal that cable and they are quite expensive because they do carry quite a lot of current down them so the last thing you want to do is have to replace one of these. So then guys the final one today is a tracker. Now if you really really love your Mercedes-Benz and sometimes your insurance company may actually request that you get one, uh, a tracker can actually locate the car on the map. But before you go anywhere Mercedes Me can actually do this but it is slightly flawed in one sense is that it only uses GPS and some of these uh, car thieves and things like that can actually buy these GPS blockers and render that useless. Compared with an actual dedicated tracker unit, they use other frequencies like VHF and mesh networks to help try and locate your pride and joy. This is of course really good because it ties directly with all the UK police forces and they can get your car back in no time at all. In fact, actually, if you have seen on TV before, you know those road wars and police interceptor programs, all they do is just like Put the antenna on the roof and then suddenly they're looking for a car that's that exact same system you can get installed in modern cars today however obviously just bear in mind that you have to pay for the installation up front and then there is a yearly charge to use that service as well so do just bear that in mind it is a little bit more expensive than like the kind of vehicle locator on mercedes me but there again if you do need it for your insurance it could be uh, well worthwhile and there we go guys, that concludes this week's video on the 10 things that you can do to help keep your Mercedes-Benz nice and secure. So huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes-Benz as they provided all the cars you see in the videos. And of course for me, hit that like button and that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. But until next week, we'll see you then.